Hi guys, I'm Karen Cavett and we are so close to Christmas. I've got my nice cozy sweater on. I'm so excited. From putting up all the decorations to wrapping all of the presents to eating all of the comfort food, this is my absolute favorite time of year. But if you're still looking for some last minute gifts to make for your friends and family, you've come to the right place because I've been working on so many DIYs all year long and so many of them would make really great gifts. So let's get started. If you have a spare hour and some sequin fabric, why not make this lined hoodie for your friend who's always cold? You could try making your friend a custom baseball cap using faux flowers, embroidery, or perler beads to make a custom message. For your friend who seems to have every book that has ever existed, you could design them some custom penguin drop cap book covers to put their favorites out on display. Tassel keychains are literally everywhere this year, and I showed you how to make them both out of leather and out of duct tape. You could make dozens of these in an afternoon, so they're perfect if you have a ton of people to give presents to. If you've got a friend who loves plants, whether they're real or fake, I made so many DIY planters this year. Try covering a geometric planter with leather scraps, filling up an old telephone with succulents, or building a planter out of a yardstick. Or if you have the opposite of a green thumb, you can make paper cacti out of green paper and plant them in geometric planters. I also made a ton of DIY cell phone cases, including perler bead phone cases and Gilmore Girls phone cases. All 10 of these ideas are really quick to put together, so again, you could make them for everyone you know. Or if you've got a friend who still likes to carry around a better camera than what's on their cell phone, you could make them a colorful DIY camera strap. If you've got a friend who just moved and needs some wall art, I showed you five wall art designs that don't require any artistic skill, as well as a bonus design made entirely out of washi tape, which again requires no artistic skill. For some home decor items they might not have thought to DIY, you could make them these cute hot air balloon magnets, some new dresser drawer pulls, a picture frame made out of a yardstick, or bookends made out of bricks. If your friend loves to throw parties, you could make them these fun Snapchat photo booth props out of craft foam, or if your friend friend is musical, you could decorate a ukulele for them. Or if they're a little bit on the emo side, you could make them this creepy blood drip necklace that doesn't just have to be for Halloween. For easy little stocking stuffers, you could make DIY shoe clips five different ways. Or rickrack flowers that could be shoe clips, magnets, hair clips, anything you can think of. If you're only giving a card, you can easily adapt these string art Mother's Day cards into holiday designs. Or if you're giving a really big gift, I showed you how to make a giant gift bow using nothing except duct tape. Speaking of duct tape, if you've got a friend with way too much tape all over the place, these DIY tape organizers might be exactly what they need. And finally, if you've been following me on all of my other social media accounts, you'll know that I've been making duct tape DIYs for the Duck Brand YouTube channel all year long. Over there, I've got another 13 easy projects, including a duct tape sun hat, a pinwheel headband, a school organizer, an envelope wallet, an arrow bookmark, a clock face design, a drawer divider, a donut notebook, a magnetic picture frame, a tree stump to-do list, a superhero mask, a hexagon flower pot, and a Christmas garland. Wow, that was a lot of DIY projects. I have done so many craft videos this year, and I think so many of them would make really great gifts, especially because it really shows that you put thought and effort into the present beyond just going out to the store. So I would love to know what is your absolute favorite project that I showed you how to make this year? Or what last minute gifts are you making for your friends and family? Maybe we can all help each other out, give each other a few more ideas down in the comments below. So before I go, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you for watching my videos and supporting my content. Whether you subscribed eight years ago or yesterday, you're the reason why I get to do this with my life, why I get to make so many craft projects. Honestly, I could not ask for a better job, and you guys are the reason why I get to do it. So I want to wish every single one of you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I will be taking a little bit of a break for the holidays to just 
relax, chill out, do some jigsaw puzzles. But I'll be back in the new year with tons more videos, lots more craft projects for you to check out. So I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and I'll see you all again in 2017. Bye everyone!